Yeah, that's it's not yes. right. Some of you probably called this. <sighs> so far, things are working. Have you ever four wheeled in a dually? This is a terrible idea. We're the Farnsworths. For the last five years, we've traveled across the US in our RV full time with our three kids and a dog, taking travel nurse jobs 13 weeks at a time. Today is our final trip in our toy hauler fifth wheel we call Dorothy. Well, we are here to pick her up. There she is. They're bringing her out. <laughs> This is where the new thing is for the tank. See how this is the place where you pull the valves and now you can, you drain it right there. It used to go all the way down over here and come out over here, which never really made sense. Why wouldn't it just drain there? So that's fixed. And then this one, See, this is how the back is already set up. You have the, you pull the tanks there and the drain comes out like that. Yeah, that's it's not right. It's, it's broken again. <sighs> We're here picking up the rig. And before we even looked at the stuff that they are fixing, we noticed the tires looked weird in the back. And I don't think they were like this when we dropped them off. And it's the same issue we had before. I don't, I don't know. So the battery's dead too. Some of you probably called this because I know you pointed out how bad that weld job was. I was kind of hoping it would last a little bit longer yeah. than it did. To the anyway, tight, the, the tight, tight turns, turns pop the welding. Pop the welds. We just dropped a chunk of change. The stuff that was supposed to be fixed here is fixed, but now we get to go over to what is it? Streamline. Straight lines. Straight and lines. And suspensions, suspensions, and have them fix what we should have had professionally fixed in the first place. I would love to take it to Cliffs, um, you know, yeah. because that's where we took Wendy for all of that amazing work those guys did on the suspension and the axles and that kind of stuff. But um, Cliffs can't get to it for two weeks. We don't want to take it home or take it on the highway or take it really anywhere because it's not safe to drive. So this is a place that's kind of close by and they can get us in. They're, they can't get to it for a few more days, but we can at least go take it and drop it on their lot. It's out of, it's out of juice. Yep. We are now at straight line suspension and we can't unhook the trailer because it's so dead. We're back to straight line suspension. They only had it for two days, which is which is really nice. Well that cost more than we thought it would cost, but um I feel like that's the that's the case with everything though. We went with the higher cost so that our next Yeah, whoever Dorothy's receives Dorothy. next Oh, to have it more bomb proof than we had, we had it. So. Yes, yes. Yeah. We're trying to pass it on. So I hope somebody appreciates that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll show you what it looks like back here now. It's much cleaner than before. So this is the new um, weld job and bracket, and we've got that cross beam there. There's actually three more of those um, cross beams underneath there to keep it. More, as John said, more bomb proof, beefier. Well, we made it back to the house. We made it back. Even though RV life is over for us, we still really loved it and we still really recommend it to other families and this would be a perfect rig for another family. Today is the day. It is the final run with Dorothy. We are packing up, almost forgot, seasonings because it's no longer stocked in here. It took us quite a long time more than average Farnsworth time to get ready today because everyone had to bring all the bedding, we had to bring towels, we had to bring clothes, we had to put all, all the food on here. But I think we're finally ready to roll. Scooters, gotta have scooters. Somebody's excited. Oh yes, Cinder is so excited. He was so excited to be back in the RV. <laughs> Cool 
thing is, is we get to meet up with our friends Gabe and Alyssa and their son Oliver which we met in our first year of traveling and then have hung out with and met up with across the country since then. Yeah, it's good. I know you don't love car rides, but I know you do love the trailer. So let's go get in the truck. Come on, Torch, jump in here. Good dog. Oh, good watch tail. your tail. All right, you're clear of the house. Yeah, you're gonna clear it. You're fine. Piece of cake. really nice they gave us coloring things for the kids and I can see why families enjoy Thousand Trail parks beverages have been acquired <laughs> compliment compliments to Gabe and Alyssa and we're gonna go check out the river now. Right, Cinder? You ready? Oh, I got a kiss. slept in because obviously <laughs> Farnsworths. <laughs> We're supposed to meet up at 10 o'clock and it is what, 9.30? It's 9, well, not quite 9, it's 9.25. 9.25. Nobody's had breakfast. We I'm haven't had breakfast. Coffee. We're getting there, we're getting there. So the high's only 74 and all I brought was tank tops and shorts. And tonight the low is in the 40s. What was I thinking? I was thinking Phoenix heat. <laughs> but yeah, so far things are working. The lights in our bedroom are fixed. They no longer flicker. The lights on the cap are fixed. Um, we have a light back there by the generator if we needed to use it, finally. But we don't have to use it because we're we got full hookups. What else works? The fireplace works. So far, nothing's leaking under the. Oven. Nothing is leaking. Nothing is That's leaking. That's a big one. I took a, a pretty they decently a long one. hot shower last yeah. night, we'll and I was like, "This is amazing. It feels so nice when you're plugged into power and everything works and like." I can fully take a shower and can use my bathroom and all the things like it's nice so there were several things we forgot like toilet paper but luckily Gabe and Alyssa came through and gave us some toilet paper I brought lunch stuff but I have nothing to pack it in I didn't bring baggies foil nothing there's no Tupperware in here this is what I get for emptying the whole RV out <laughs> Maybe gonna try something that's maybe not smart. I don't know. We're, we'll we'll see. Have you ever four wheeled in a dually? It's first time for everything. <laughs> the road is fairly wide, at least. <laughs> We're 
almost there. Oh my gosh. This is, this is wild. Yes. No! What are you yes. doing? What are you doing? Yeah, no, oh my god, what are you done. doing? Oh, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Oh, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my god. And we got Ranger with us today. All right, well, we successfully made it. Shaved a whole mile off of our walk today. Let's let's do this. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, it's time to head down to our friend's house. Friend's house, our friend's, well, it's their house, their yeah, rig. It's, it's really and um, we got some veggies and other things here. And we have this huge bag of marinated chicken to throw on today. Cooking dinner for the family, got some nice grilled asparagus, some corn, some chicken. It's, uh, it's gonna be a good night. Yeah. I'm a sucker for sentimental moments. Last year we took Dorothy out for her very first run with Gabe and Alyssa and our friends from Adventures to Chance. It was pretty serendipitous to find ourselves once again cooking out with our friends and celebrating a momentous occasion. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a <laughs> it's a pig in the wild. Potentially the last night in the RV today. I know, you we're love getting, this couch. We're getting spread out on the couch even though we're filthy dirty. Yeah, we've got Sedona so, dust yes. all over you. Good girls. I'm sorry, Cinder. But we're still gonna go on adventures. That's okay. Just not in this RV. It's the final countdown. Okay, it's our last time hitching her up, probably. We are ready to be done RVing, but everything is working in Dorothy and really, it is a great space for a family if we wanted to continue RVing. It is a great trailer for a big family, lots of room. So I hope that another family gets to have some grand adventures in her too. Thanks for watching and following our journey. We have a few more RV episodes as we wrap up preparing and selling our rig. While our RVing is coming to an end, our adventures and travel nursing are not. We hope you'll stick around this summer as we continue adventuring in Arizona, and maybe we'll see you out there. <laughs>